And tonight, police are no closer to figuring out the identity of a young girl found severely decomposed in the Yellow River, but we now know exactly how she was discovered and are hearing from the boater who says it was a miracle that he found her. Tonight, Christy Etheridge goes with him as he retraces his journey. If you don't know how to navigate the Yellow River, Pat Campbell Jr. says it could get the best of you, but he's been doing it for years. We launched right from the bank in his backyard. Last time he took this boat out, he found the body of a young girl twisted up in branches. The ride feels a little different the second time around. Yeah, I just find myself looking at everything in a different way coming down here. It has affected me. Today, we rode the very same route to the exact spot where that young girl was found. What's and running through my mind is I didn't see a face and I don't really don't want to put a face to it. It's about a 30 minute ride three miles downstream to a spot you wouldn't know to look for unless you had a reason. I thought it may be gone. I was hoping it'd be gone, but just it looks exactly the same as just missing the person. It's about 500 yards from the Rocky Plains Road Bridge. You can still hear the cars in the distance, but it feels much farther away. Thick brush lines the riverbank, and there's nothing but wilderness in all directions. This is the first time I've been down since since that day, and I mean, I'm looking at everything. It's like my, my senses are heightened. There's no longer a body there, but after today, there is a cross. Homemade on the boat with tape, marking the spot where he found a girl who still doesn't have a name, but now has a place to rest. In Newton County, Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News.